Okay, so the oral cavity is first, and then the hard palate is here, and then the soft palate, and the uvula, and then the palatine tonsil is number 412. Oh, my. oh I dropped his liver. 412 is the palatine tonsil, and then the tongue, obviously the tongue, and then the lingual frenulum, it holds, it, it lengthens the tongue, and then the lingual tonsils are, um, yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, and then the nasopharynx is part of the respiratory system. And then the, uh, the, is it the oropharynx next? Okay, so then the oropharynx, these are like, I don't really know these very well, and then the, the laryngopharynx is the lowest one, and then the esophagus is right behind the trachea, right here, um, and then the stomach, the stomach is, is here, can you guys hold this on there, mm -hmm. I don't know how it goes on there, so the stomach, and then the cardia is here, the body is here, and then the pylorus is here. Um, pyloric sphincter is between the pylorus and the duodenum. And then the fundus is, fi is right here. The greater curvature, lesser curvature. The rugi is inside and it's all the little folds. Um, and then the small intestine. <laughs> small intestine and the duodenum is, is it right here? Yes. Duodenum and then the jejunum is um, the middle, 537 and the ilium is 539 and then the ileo valve is right here and then the um, plicae pl plicae circularis whatever that is um, is on the inside of these organs, and it's just the little grooves on the inside. And then the uh, the large intestine. This is the cecum of the large intestine. And then here's the appendix. And then we've got the colon, um, the ascending colon, um, the hepatic colic flexure, the descending colon. See. And then the uh, right above that is the splenic colic flexure, and the transverse colon goes across. And the um, tania coli is the ribbon right here. And then the hostrum um, moves the bullet moves it through in sections. So I think it's these folds, but we have to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Okay. And then the. Uh, the rectum and the anus are down here. So, first rectum, then the anus. And then the diaphragm is separates these two cavities. So, oh, it's right here, sorry. Diaphragm. Um, the liver is there. Um, the common hip, here, put it on there, let's see. And then the common hepatic duct is on the other side, so we have to turn it around anyway. 564. So, the common hepatic duct is this little one, looks like a T. And then the gallbladder, the cystic duct, the common bile duct, the pancreas is right here, and then the pancreatic duct, and then the parotid salivary gland is over here. We have to come on the other side. Parotid salivary gland, and this is the parotid. And then the um, submandibular gland is right here. Submandibular gland. And then the sublingual gland is here. And the spleen is here. What is it supposed to be? <laughs> here, isn't it? Or here? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, no, the lungs up here in the spleen. Tank. So this is this side? Uh, well... Okay, so it's it's on the inside of the left body cavity. Okay, and then we're almost done. Parietal peritoneum is um, peritoneum um, lines the body lines the cavity, and then the visceral peritoneum lines the organs. It's a shiny stuff, and the greater omentum.
comes out from the bottom of the stomach and covers the small intestine. And then the lesser omentum... Is, uh, Where's that one? That's the, it connects the... It off. connects the stomach to the liver, yes. right? So the right. stomach, so it's, it's this little part connected to the liver. To the liver. And then the mesentery proper is the small intestine, connects it to the body wall. And then the mesocolon connects um, the bottom of the colon to the body wall. I think that's it.